So opened up the band just a tiny bit. Like that, Marilyn. Good. Extend through your fingers, uh, flat back. Activate the top of the legs. Uh, keep your body straight. And inhale up. And then exhale down. Contract the abdomen, inhale up. Elongate through the back of the neck. As you exhale down for two, you inhale up. Now contract the abdomen, exhale down, Yuji. Press three. Abdomen up. Exhale four. Inhale up, Brenda. Exhale five. Contract the abdomen up, Kiko. Exhale six. Contract the abdomen up, Carol. Exhale seven. Contract right now, Jean. And exhale out through the mouth. Eight. And two more, Yuji. This is nine. And 10. Now from here, bring the shoulders back. The neck is long. You're doing 10. Towards the back. Bring the shoulder back. Eight. Two. Shoulders back. Seven. And six. And five. Yeah. You guys want to work on your posture two, three times a week, okay? And five. And six. And seven. And eight. And nine. And 10, beautiful, good. So the same exercise can be done in the back. Uh, have the hands this way, open it a little bit and now call, go towards the back, towards the back. The first 10 minutes of class, they serve a warm up, but also to improve your posture, to keep your guys, the body straight. This is five, all the way up to 10 and six. And seven, strengthen your upper front, back, side muscles. Eight, nine, 10. Beautiful, good. From there, I'm going to open up just a little bit, just a tiny bit. Maybe it, I, I did it about a half an inch. And now I contract the abdomen, Marilyn, and I want to go out. Let me show you from the back. I want to go out. My back is, uh, my neck is long. I want to go out. This is big. Four, like that, Brenda. Five, contract, six, contract, seven, contract, eight, good, Jean. Nine, ten. Now the other one, watch here. So from here, let me show you side, which you guys can see it. It's back. Yeah. Back. Yeah. Three, four, keep going. Ah, uh, five. And six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and 10. The other one is watch here. I'm gonna make it a little bit tighter. And then I wanna come up and I wanna do the back zipper. I contract the abdomen as I go down, UG. Perfect. And up, you do a small zipper. It's like you have a zipper in the back of your pants. And then you go down, you contract the abdomen. This is four, then go. Out, zipper up, stick, perfect, Marilyn, up, seven, eight, Brenda, nine, and 10. Now bring it back up one more time. Bring the left leg forward, contract the abdomen. Now extend the arms for the back of the arms, Eugene. Yeah, you go, two, oh, woo, three, Four, Carol. Five. Six. Seven. Ah, oh, Eight. Nice. We got it, Marilyn. Nine. Ten. And relax, Marilyn. From here, from there, open it a little bit. Open it. Notice, bring the shoulders back. And now rotate the neck for three. Ah, oh, working the upper neck for two. For one. Gently reverse, keep that band active in the back for three, for two, for one, and slowly release. Now from here, pop it over the right shoulder, keep going. 
So reverse profile. Okay. Here, you call that right that what it is. In Pilates, we call it profile here, like that. So this hand goes down and I contract and I press out that way. I pull out. I contract. Nice. You got it, Brenda. Two. And three, there's a little bit of tension. Uh, Marilyn, you want to be careful with your shoulders, and I think Carol too. And awesome for Brenda, work your awesome arms. And Kiko too, five. And Eugene, six. And seven. Good. And Jean, eight. Nine. And one more, please. Ten. And slowly back. Perfect. Good. You always want to modify. So sometimes if I feel something that don't feel good on my body, I do something else, right? Remember, exercise, movement, it's like gasoline for the muscles. The muscles are meant to move. They don't move, they atrophy. They start, okay? They need blood. But I think you, you have too much. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, good circulation. Good, okay, abdomen is safe. Yeah, these exercises will improve your circulation. So, you know, kind of good and bad at the same time. Okay, here we go. Four, let me concentrate again. Contract, five. And up, six. Up, Gene, seven. Up, eight. Kiko, that's awesome, Kiko. Nine, ten, good. Okay, so now lateral, to the side, side to side, okay? But one of the things that are that I keep mentioning to you guys, the benefit of this is that you move the body in so many planes. You come back up, legs apart. So notice that my hands are not in front of me, right? My hands are almost in um, in alignment with my ears, only as much as possible. And I pull the abdomen in and I go to the side and I do a gentle movement. So you wanna be careful here with your low back. And I contract because you're stretching, I think it's called the QL, the quadratus lumborum on the side. And I think that may be, um, for Brenda, that may be a little bit of an issue that the QL, you go to the side. So you want to go slow there. And where am I? Five, contract, limit the range of motion. Six, lengthen through your upper arms. Seven, work in your back muscle. Eight again, kick off. Oof. Nine. Ten, bring it down. Good. Bring, uh, go here. Because I have one more to go upstairs. Open it a little bit. Bring your chin down. Bring your chin up. So make it small and, and open it, okay? Here, open it. Go down, contract that down up. So I'm lengthening the, the cervical. This is three, all the way up to 10. Four, contract the abdomen. Five, contract. Six, contract. Seven, almost like you're saying yes, okay? Eight, nine, and 10, and slowly release. Okay, beautiful. Whew. Okay, let's go upstairs again, Kiko. So here, uh, this is from martial arts, okay? You go here, you bend your knees, and you slowly, you go to the side. You go to the side, you go to the side. So this one may be good to let, to stretch the low back. You pull the navel to the spine. This is two. You contract, this is three, Marilyn. You contract, this is four. You contract, this is five. You contract, this is six. You're firmly planted. The, the quadriceps are open. Uh, active amount, seven. The top of the legs are active. Eight, four, nine, and 10 back to center and good. Okay, the, the last one here, UG, is the bicep curl. So you go to this side here, Carol. You step and we're doing two steps. Okay, guys? My back is straight. Let me do one at a time first, Jean. You do the right and you do the left. So, so, so watch my back. See my back leaning forward? You guys do not want that. You want the back muscle to, uh, to play a secondary role here. My, so my first muscle that I want to do is, is the abdomen. Then after that, my back and then the arms, okay? Ready? 
two, three, four, five, and six, and seven, and eight, like that, Carol, that's awesome, and nine, and 10, good. Now together, bring that film here. I pull my abdomen in, my back is straight, and I go slow. I go slow. I pull the abdomen in. Two, like that. Three, bring the hands closer together, Yuji. Three, you see that? See? You see, that's kind of okay. I did look more awesome. <laughs> good, good. Use your hips too, okay? Because I'm noticing in my body, I'm noticing that my hips are slightly forward. Seven, eight, nine. Perfect, Kiko, that, that was, that's what I was talking about. Okay, good. Okay, so let's go back on the mat and let's do our mat work, okay? Just hydrate, take a drop of water like that, a nice drink. Because you guys need that H2O, okay? Or, or whatever you guys drink, okay? Uh, I don't know, Marilyn, it doesn't have a glass of wine next to her, she has some water, but <laughs> it's a little early. But maybe this afternoon, Marilyn. Okay, so um, let me focus again on you guys. So last week I was teaching you the leg circle with the heel, okay? So now the other way that is practiced is with the leg pointed, Brenda. So instead of here, you point. And then the second point I wanna make is the bottom leg, Carol, this leg is very active also, but you're not dorsiflexing, you're lengthening because if they, this, style of leg circle is working more than inner thighs, okay? So I pull the abdomen in, I point my toe, Kiko, and I notice, Brenda, be careful in this one, you wanna keep this movement very small because this targets the low back, okay? Um, you wanna press down on the back, the neck is long, the abdomen is, is in, and you inhale slowly and you do a small circle. You point the toe, I'm gonna look up to watch you guys, and keep lengthening the leg as much as possible, Marilyn. Two, you do one circle and you stop. Breathe. Good. The reason I have my head up is so that I can watch you guys. Four. But the neck is long there. And do one at a time, Kiko. Five. Then stop. You do one circle and you stop. You do one circle, you stop. Like that, Jean. Kiko, do one circle and stop. Yeah. And three, stop. Two, stop. One stop now, tabletop, bring it down. So I'm noticing in my body that when I do it, I feel my inner thighs, the inside of the legs working. So now point your toe again, Carol, and it is slightly to the side. Okay, so you're, in, you're almost externally rotated to the outside of the bottom leg. In this case, my, my the, the leg in the bottom. You want to press your knee down, you want to contract the quadriceps at the top. You do contract the abdomen, inhale, and then you exhale, bring that. You inhale, exhale for three. I'm sorry, this is three, this is four, this is five. And then you point the toe again, Yuji, okay? There you go, like that, that was beautiful, Yuji. And you go five, point your toe, four, point your toe, three, small movement, two, like that, kick up. And one, and bring it back down to center. Beautiful, good. Um, yeah, let's go there now. Okay, so now grab your 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 band. Grab your band. So this is a modification up now. Okay. I was gonna do this on Friday or or next week, but let me do it right now. Okay, so you go here. You put it in the middle of your bed, you point your toe. So now you guys add a little bit of resistance, okay? So you point, 
you extend the leg, you pull the navel to the spine, and you do a small circle, um, Gene, you do a small circle, five, small circle, four, small circle, three, small circle, two, small circle, one. You stop in the center. You all guys always stop, okay? So you start at 12, you hit 12, three, six, nine, stop at 12, then you reverse it, okay? So now we're doing five the other way. Ready? Five, four, contract the abdomen. Breathe, Brenda, two, use the abdomen, one. Okay, you're awesome, Gene. Okay, good. The other side, please. So just notice how we modify up, right? This is the beauty of the, the movement that you guys are doing. Okay, so pull the navel to the spine, extend the other leg, and don't forget, Yuji, that the bottom leg, you're pointing your toe, and it's very active. Okay, let's go, because Gene is on it. Ready? Contract. Good, five, Marilyn, contract the abdomen, then do the circle, kick up, everyone. Do three, contract the abdomen. For Brenda, you want the movement to be very small. And two, contract one, because that targets your low back, be careful. So now the uh, five, okay? The other, re reverse it. Nice, Marilyn, five, contract, four, contract, like that, kick up. You gotta kick up. And three, Carol, yes. Two, UGS, and one, and beautiful, and release. So that's a step up from last week, right? So bend to the side. And the other one which we do to strengthen the back is the cat, okay? And then the elbow plant. So the cat is this one. This one is very easy, but it's very good for you guys. It's good for me too. Okay, so I spread my fingers, uh, Brenda. You want to spread your fingers here, Kiko, everyone. So when you press down, the hands are under your shoulders and you open your fingers and then you look slightly forward, you contract the abdomen. We're doing it five times, okay? We're doing one set of five. And then you exhale, you gently lift the hips a little bit because the idea here is to open the spine, open the spine and send that breath improve your circulation, improve your energy level. You're doing three. And you contract, pull the navel to the spine, you're doing four. And you guys do one more. Good, perfect. Okay, Marilyn, good. Now come back up, release your shoulders. So the beauty of what you guys are doing here we work the ankle joint, the knee joint, the hip joint, the shoulder joint, okay? Yeah, we do. Okay, so where am I? Okay, Yuji, she's, she's doing the elbow plank. Yuji, she's, let's go, because Yuji's on it already. <laughs> you go, Yuji. <laughs> You're awesome. Go pull the elbow to the spine. So now this is basically almost the same exercise you guys did except you have a flat back, UG. okay? Pull the elbow to the spine. Make sure that the elbows are under your shoulders, okay? You, you do not want the elbows away from your shoulders because that's not good for your shoulders, Marilyn. And then you want to keep the top of the legs very active. You want to pull the elbow to the spine. You want to look slightly forward. And you guys want to hold it for four. Hold it for three, Kiko. Drop your hips, Miss Kiko. Drop your awesome hips. Oh, yeah. You did, that's what I'm talking about for two. Oh, perfect, uh, Carol. Hey, oh, Gene, you're awesome. Yes, Brenda, and slowly drop down with control. Woo, 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 woo. Yeah, good, you guys did good, okay? So let me just show you, to, to you guys, now that you guys are looking over here, make sure I'm going to do it incorrect. Make sure that the elbows are not over there, okay? You see my elbows? They're too far. You want the elbow, right about here, right under the shoulders. You're always looking for that Pilates back, always. You're always making things. So when you're doing the plank, the elbow's not up that way. The elbow is always in alignment with this. You want that kind of alignment, okay? Perfect. Okay, uh, swimming. 
Okay, swimming is done this way, and I I I I break it. I do it slower. Let's go, Yuji. Oh my God, Yuji, you go. Okay, so here I'm gonna start with my right leg, Yuji. Um, kick off and lift my lift my right leg and my left arm at the same time, and then I release and I point my toes. Here you point your toes and open, bring the left, the right arm up. You contract and you switch. You contract and you switch. And I want you guys to do two more on each side. You contract and you switch. Contract and switch. And one more three time, Marilyn. Boom. Contract the abdomen. Boom. Okay, nice. You perfect. Kiko, yes. Yes, okay, perfect. Come back up town. Come back up town. Beautiful, beautiful. Excellent. And uh, release the, the wrist. For four, for three, we work in the wrist joint, right? Two, one, reverse the wrist joint for three, for two, and one. Good. You always want to work shoulder joint, elbow joint, wrist joint, as many joints as possible. Okay, so where am I? Okay, so bring that we started the modification, uh, the, the twist last Monday, okay? And that was the other exercise that I was gonna teach you guys this, this month. The twist is also known as side bend. So I'm gonna teach it to you. There are like three levels. Um, I think you guys already have the, the first level, which is on top of the ball. The second level is here, which is more intermediate. So notice that my right leg is in, my left leg is here. And the power here, Yuji, always, I love it, Yuji, your hand is under, perfect. You, you, the power here comes from the hips you know, from the bone, from the hips here. So not so much from the arm. The arm is gonna balance you, right? But you wanna push the hips forward. The hip joint is what's giving you power. So it's called uh, the, the side twist, okay? Also called the, the side bend. So watch slowly, I contract the abdomen, slow motion, this is what it looks like. Here, I wanna push my hips forward. I push my hips towards you guys, and I want to look down like so, and I contract and I come back. Yes, try it, try it, try it. Push your hips forward, Carol, yes. Push your hips forward, Yuji, more hip if possible. Jean, you're on it. Brenda, you're on it. Okay, yeah, that's your bad hand, Marilyn, good. Oh, Kiko, show me one more time, please. Push your hip forward, Kiko, push your hip forward. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, good, Brenda, you're on it. Good, good, good. Okay, let's do Marilyn's good side because that was her bad side. So watch I watch. I'm not gonna use the, my powerhouse. This is here, there's no powerhouse here. Remember, yeah, remember Pilates is about the core. The core is from here to about here. This is, this is your core. So this here, from here to here, right from here to here. That's what's gonna push, propel you forward. So from here, Kiko, and Yuji, you're doing better. Make sure your hand is not out there, Miss Yuji. Put it under your shoulder, right? Marilyn, you're awesome, good. So bring the legs as close as possible, Kiko, beautiful. And now press, push your hips out, push your hips out. You contract and then you come back. Good, do two more, do one more. Um, yeah. Yes, 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 Brenda. Two. That's a good side. Carol, yeah, that was it. Good, good, good. Okay, good. We're going to do it just normally. Okay, Kiko. Normally, you want to do at least three on each side, right? So for now, let's go and do only two on each side. Two on this side, two on the right side, two on the left. And remember, the way you go out is the way you come in, okay? So I know this is gonna be ch challenging for you, Marilyn, so modify it, please, okay? So you can hold it here and just press here. That's good enough, okay? So watch, this hand comes over, it's an arc, it's an arc. You go here and you look down and then you contract the abdomen, you, dig, you come back down. And now second time, try your second time. That was, Brenda, that was better. And Kiko, you too. There you go. Carol, that was better on this side. Good. 
That was better on this side. Yeah, that was better than the first time. Okay, good. And go ahead and, and then, Marilyn, keep your hands closer to under your shoulder. Yeah, and almost behind you is right on the, okay. Easy, Carol. Awesome, Brenda. Okay, Yuji, that was better. I think it's gonna get better. Good, good, good. Okay, so what I'm trying to do now, or what you guys are trying to do now, is because this is not an exercise which you guys do all the time, that the body inside of you, the muscles are trying to respond to the new movement. So this is also the beauty of this exercise. I was thinking about you guys yesterday because I saw a whole bunch of senior citizens working out and, and there, and I thought, you know, my people can do those exercises, but I don't think those people can do your exercises uh, because of the uniqueness of the movements. Okay, I'm, I'm not saying something bad about me. It's just the, the challenging that you guys have in front of you. I hope you guys realize this is a, a big challenge for you. So now let me show you a modification for that exercise, which you guys already know. All you guys know this one. But the emphasis is more on the rotation part of the upper torso. So now bring your feet to your ball, Marilyn. And this is the same exercise, except the rotation, instead of, of the rotation coming from the hip, which here, it comes from your hip, right? In here, the rotation is coming more from the upper thoracic above. So you go here, Marilyn, uh, not Marilyn, uh, um, Carol, you pull the navel to the spine, you contract the abdomen, and then you come back up and notice you're doing this exercise like that, you, you're awesome. There you go, Carol. And then you come back slowly down and you wanna do it at least three times. And then you hold it at the top, Carol. You hold it at the top, you go. You press and you push. So this is the same, this is the twist, but here the twist, it's instead of the, the hip joint, it's a little bit more of shoulder joint. Thank you, Marilyn. Like that, like that, Carol. Good, perfect, Kiko. And you wanna do at least three on each side, right? Because otherwise that's gonna be hard on your wrist. So that's the twist, but the twist here now, you're focusing more on your shoulder joint. My legs are spread out here, contract, and I open my awesome shoulder like that. Yes, Brenda. Yes, Marilyn. Good. You guys want to do at least three. You want to hold it at the top, and then you want to press the hand down because you want to strengthen the shoulder. In your case, the left shoulder, you did. And last one, you did. Up, 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 up. And back, beautiful, perfect. Okay, we are done with that. Um, okay, so I'm not going to do another new exercise today because it may be a little bit too much. Um, and I want to take my time. I think you guys have enough for today. Let me hydrate a little bit. And then what we want to do now is work the back of the legs, okay? And make sure you guys have the pole and the, the Pilates ring next to you, the short pole. So the first thing I wanna do is grab the pole first and the ball. Bring the ball in. Bring the pull out. So from here, bring the ball in, bring the pull out, elbows go out, and slowly when I come back up. So this is nice, Marilyn. This is very easy. However, it, uh, bring the hands as wide as possible. You contract the abdomen. This is somewhat easy, but what it's doing also is warming up your chest again. It is stretching your upper back, right? It's a form of dynamic stretching because you guys just work your shoulders 
So now when you press up, you're, you're stretching those muscles that you guys just used, like that, Kiko. Like that, good. Keep the elbows out. Like that, uh, Jean. Good. Four, Eugene. Three. And two. Good. And one. Good. You did your camera is not following you. Okay, now it's following you. Okay, good. I only saw like your hands. Okay, so from here, now bring the hands a little. Uh, no, I take that back. Well, ha yeah, half an inch closer. My back is in. I contract and bring the hands almost behind you, Brenda. So notice this is stretching the, uh, the upper back. Contract. And now from there, you pull the abdomen in and then come back. Your chin is in, like you guys did earlier. And I want, yeah. And I contract the abdomen, you go back slowly. So notice this is stretching the upper, the spine. You contract the abdomen. I want the hands to be wide because I want you guys to work the latissimo dorsi. Those are the muscles alongside the rib cage in the, towards the back. Okay, you guys are doing three, all the way up to 10. Inhale back, contract, four. Inhale back, up, five. Uh, the legs are somewhat active, Carol. Hug the ball towards you, and six. And contract the abdomen to come up, Brenda. Seven. Contract the abdomen to come up, Kiko. Eight. And lift your chest up only if you can, Kiko. Nine, because we're doing chest lift. Yeah, we're doing that one. And last one is 10. Beautiful, perfect, good. So another variation of that exercise, somewhere in between those two, uh, what do you call them? Uh, planes is this one. Instead of going straight up, you have the elbows here, you pull the navel to the spine, and you go from here, you go forward. You come back, it's almost like you're doing a bench press. Make sure you're lifting your chest up. So this one is somewhere in between. Here we go. Three, nice gene. Contract, four, like that, keep going. Elbows out, five, everyone. Elbows out, everyone. Six, it is the abdominal muscles that are bringing you up. Seven, contract, eight. Nice, Marilyn. Elbows out, nine, and 10, beautiful, perfect, good. So from here, walk your ball out. You can place the pole on the side. Let's give you guys your hands a break. The hand go on there uh, next to you, bring the ball in. And now you can keep the chin up if you guys wish or down, okay? This is for the back of the legs. So this is a good stretch for the back of the legs uh, for everyone. But when we do the bridge, that's not a good idea for, for Brenda, especially if you have low back issue, right? Because when you lift your hips, you have to pull the abdomen in really hard, contract the glutes up. I'm doing two more kickoff, one more. Now from here, I bring the ball close in. I pull the navel to the spine. I contract, I wanna bring the base of the spine, the last, uh, bone of my spine towards towards my hips. I want to bring that towards the front and I lift up and I my muscles of my glutes, my hip extensors, your gluteus muscles are strong. And you guys want to hold it for 10, for nine, for eight, for seven, for six, for five, for four, for three, for two. For one, now keep the muscles contracted and land down. Do not let go. Do not let go. You only let go when you get down to the mat. Okay, now do a little bit of Zumba. Come on, uh, very small for, for uh, Brenda, very small. For three, for two. Because what happens when we go out of our range of motion, then that's when we pull a, a, a ligament, a tendon, or, or even uh, the muscle, okay? Now gently reverse for three. For two, 
for one. Okay, so I just want to go back to your rotator muscles uh, of the abdomen. And then after that, we do a little bit more shoulder joint and more knee joint, okay? And hip joint. So where am I? Okay, so Nia, grab your pole again. And I want to do uh, the rotational muscles of the abdomen, okay? They are very important in terms of uh, keeping your guys, your abdomen flowing. You pull the abdomen in and you hit like this, Kiko, like you're gonna hit down like that, Eugene, like that, good. So here the hands are a little bit, not as wide, I don't think. Pull the abdomen in and almost like you're gonna hit behind you. Yeah, Brenda, good. It's almost like you're gonna hit behind you. So this is exercise comes from the martial art, like that. Good, and I'm just applying it here to mat work. Here we go. 10, and back, I'm counting down, Carol. Contract the abdomen. Ninth, good, contract. Eight, it's like almost like you're striking behind you with the bow. Seven, contract. Six, the abdomen is in. Five, nice, Eugene. Contract, four, Kiko. Like that, contract. Three, squeeze your awesome core, Marilyn. Two. And now the other side, guys. Good, we're only gonna do one set right now, okay? So you pull that abdomen in, contract, and boom. And back. Ready, Kiko. 10, and back. Squeeze your core, Kiko. Two. That one, Kiko. Contract, three. Oh, I forgot to contract myself. Four, there you go, that was better. I'm contracting, then coming up. Five, inhale, exhale. Six, contract. Seven, contract the abdomen, then strike, girl. Eight, like that. Contract, nine. Contract, 10. Beautiful, good. Okay, ball to the side. Uh, grab your Pilates ring, please. And keep the pole, right? Keep your pole. Like this, Kiko. So from here, I'm doing the clamp on the side, I contract and I bring the pull up and I come down. So I'm squeezing the Pilates, yeah, bring uh, uh, Marilyn. So I'm contracting here. So notice that my hand is not away from me. Uh, you know, again, I'm, I'm going to alignment, okay? I make a, a fist, I contract and I contract the Pilates ring. So here I'm working my right shoulder joint my knee joint is working a little bit. My hip, we're doing the arm is long, Brenda. Two, elongate through your awesome arm, Eugene. Contract the abdomen right there, Eugene. Three, exhale down. Contract, inhale up, Eugene. Four, and you want the arm to go in alignment with the shoulder so you feel the shoulders. It's like you're pressing, you're strengthening the muscles of the back the middle to support the front. I think that's about five. Inhale, exhale right there, Jing. Inhale down. Where am I? Eight. This is a challenging exercise because which one is going up and the other one is going down, Brenda. <laughs> it's like life, you know, when something goes up, <laughs> The other thing is coming down. Okay, here we go. Let's go because Marilyn is switching. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, this is the beauty of the uh, another another benefit of this exercise because it is a mind-body exercise. You really have to think about what you're doing. So you're making that mental muscular connection. Okay, that's going to help you getting tune with your with your with your with your muscles. 
is I think it's called proprioception. The 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 term is called proprioception. I think so. You find it out more about how you move. Okay, and I think that this is why this is called mind body fitness. Okay, and contract, and here we go. So this side feels a little bit more easier for me. Or oh, maybe because this is on my right hand side and I'm right handed and I press down like that. I contract the abdomen here, pull the elbow to the spine, Jim, before you come up. And you want to bring the arm in alignment. What I'm looking for, Akaro, when you get here, you want to gently press the, the, your scapula, the upper back, towards the front. You want to strengthen support of muscles. Good, your camera is much better, Eugene. So this is five. Like that, Kiko, that was beautiful. Yes. Yes. And again, keep going, uh, Brenda. So squeeze right there, right? Squeeze, squeeze, and come up. Squeeze the pilar string to come up. Yeah. Uh, two more, last two, contract, correct? There you go. Gene, you're awesome. You go awesome. And last one, guys, you the back. Boom, and slowly back. Perfect. Excellent, good. Okay, so actually, let me do something. Let me introduce this exercise. We may do it next week, but let me, you guys already know it. Let me introduce it to you. Um, I'm kneeling. I think you guys already may have practiced it. This one, this is for the back, right? You guys have practiced it already, similar to the, to the camel. So from here, my knees are apart. I go this way, like that, Marilyn. And then from here, I want to push my hips forward. I want to push my hips forward. I'm almost 100% positive. You guys have done this exercise. And push for five, for four. Bring the shoulders back. Keep the shoulders back. So again, Carol, you want to press the scapula, the shoulder blade towards the front. Ears over the shoulders, everyone, for four. Kiko, you're awesome. Brenda, yes. Yes, Jean, for three, for two, and beautiful. Perfect, good. Perfect, okay, we may do this exercise on the abdomen uh, next week, but it's really hard on the abdomen, okay? So it's better to do it, modification is to do it this way. It's hard to do it um, on the abdomen with the ball. Okay, we need to go, so we let bring your loop, Bring your Pilates ring and your stability ball and your weighted ball, okay? There you go, honey. Okay, let's rock and roll. I break just a little bit. Okay, beautiful. Okay, let's work the inside of the legs, guys. So go here. We have about six, seven minutes. Go here, my back is flat. Pull the navel to the spine. And this exercise is meant to strengthen those shoulders, okay? To um, dynamically stretch your shoulder joint. Okay, so we're starting in five, four, for 30 seconds, okay? Three, two, and go. Squeeze that Pilates ring. Go, flat back. Good. Good, work the awesome arms with you. Almost halfway there, Carol. Uh, work those awesome arms. Like that, Jim. Yeah. 10 seconds. Woo. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, heaven. Okay, Carol, uh, Marilyn, go here, contract the abdomen, and slowly up. 
we only gonna do five. Be careful with your shoulder, Marilyn, up, two. Contract, working your some shoulder joint, three. Two, nice chin. One, okay, Yuji, good. From here, keep the band active, Yuji. Keep the band, not yet, Yuji. Keep the band active, we, we'll go there in a second. Now rotate the neck, but keep the, uh, the, uh, the, the loop active because nice, Marilyn, because I want to strengthen your, your, your neck muscle. Those are part of your posture, guys. Remember the head may weigh, I don't know, 10, 11, 12 pounds. So you guys want to strengthen those neck muscles to help you keep your head up nice and tall, right? And now gently reverse it. For three, for two, and one. Okay, beautiful. Okay, Yuji. So let's do the other side. Uh, the, uh, the loop again. We're starting in five for 30 seconds. Ready? Starting in four, three, nice, keep going. Two, keep the pillars active. Let's go. Rock and roll. Work your beautiful arms. Good. Keep breathing, uh, Carol. Good. Good. Working on your stamina. You go, Gene. <laughs> You go, Eugene. <laughs> oh, oh my God, Eugene. Woo. Work on you. Oh my God, you go. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Yeah, Eugene. Oh man, it, it's 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 like you 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 run a fast. Ah, that was fast, Eugene. Okay, grab the Pilates ring. That was really fast, Eugene. And Jean on the other side. Yeah. Okay, here we go, guys. So we do the 100, but it's not the regular Pilates 100. This 100 here is to put some muscles on your posture, okay? And on your arms, okay? So here we go. So let's start coming up. That's one. Contract, flat back. Two. Contract. Three, all the way up to 20, kick off. Contract, four, use your breath. Don't forget your breath, Brenda. Inhale up, exhale down, six. Use your breath, seven. Use your breath, nice, kick off. That was beautiful. Eight, so activate that Pilates ring so the arms get to work, everyone. Lengthen through your fingers only if it's possible, Marilyn. Eleven. Good. 12. Gene, awesome. Contract. 13. Good. Keep going. 14. 15. Work the top of the arm, QG. Good. Sorry. Let's count. 18. Contract. 19. Because I'm watching all you guys. 20. Now from here, bring it out. Elbows out, QG. <clears throat> Elbows out. Press half. 21, good, work your autumn awesome chest. Two, lengthen to your autumn awesome fingers. Like that, keep going. 24, contract, 25, Brenda. Lengthen through your wrist, working the wrist joints here. See, working the wrist joint. 27, 28, Carol. Inhale, exhale out, 29, like that. 30. Lengthen the arms, lengthen, like that, Eugene, good. Lengthen the arms, so you stretch and strengthen those muscles. That's one of the beauties of Pilates. But I think, where am I? 40, almost, but let's say 35, 36. Contract, because I'm watching everybody here. Kiko, you're doing excellent. And one more, please. Boom, so go here, contract. Press and now rotate the neck for three. Make sure you're pressing, you're lengthening through your fingers for two, for one, reverse for three, for two, for one. Okay, perfect, okay, release. Okay, so that was, I think, 40, I think so. So contract the abdomen, the zipper, Eugene, in the front, up to your sternum, perfect, Brenda. Good, okay, I'm gonna count correctly now. 43, good. There's a little bit of tension, 44, like that, Marilyn, awesome. 45, good, good. 46, this is an awesome exercise for your posture, guys. Front and middle, good. 47, like that, Brenda. 
all the way up to the shoulders, 48, 49, like that, Carol. 50, good. Abdomen is in, 51. Inhale, exhale, 52. Contract, 53. Contract, 54. Contract, 55. Contract, 56. And 57. 58. 59. 60, beautiful, good. The thought that came to my mind, there's so many people that try to become black belts and out of what, 10,000 or 100,000, maybe one or two will make it. And you guys are in that, you know, in that, in that one or 2%, thank you. Okay, so 60, so the uh, Atlas, pull that navel to the spine, 61. Engage those autumn fingers, autumn wrists. Good. 64, 65, 66, work the arms. Feel the arms, you need 67, 68, 69, 70. I'm gonna rush now, okay? 71, 72. I'm gonna pick it up. 73, 74, elongate the neck. 75, 76, 77. 78, 79, 80. Before we do the next one, rotate the neck for three, for two, for one, reverse for three, for two, for one. Okay, the last 20, go here. And now this is for your chest, okay? Bring the elbows in. Yes, you did. Ready? 81, like that, keep going. 82, contract, 83, awesome. Squeeze the Pilates ring, 84. Bring the Pilates ring almost to your eyebrow, Brenda. Lower, yeah, there you go. 86, 87, good. 88, you did good. Contract the abdomen and squeeze the Pilates ring. 89, like that, Jean, like that, keep going. 91, 92, contract, 93, 94, oh, 95, Contract, 96, 97, squeeze that Pilates ring, 98, 99, and 100 with control, Marini, release. Let go, bring the shoulders back. We're gonna stretch for about a minute and a half and we're done, shoulders are back. Inhale up, exhale for five. Good, keep going. Four, three, two, one, beautiful, good. My right elbow is down, pull the elbow to the spine. And this is similar to the exercise we guys did earlier, the twist, right? And also on the, on the physio ball. But now you guys pull the, you pull the elbow to the spine for three, for two, for one. Now contract the abdomen, come back down. Contract again, uh, UG, and bring the elbow up. There you go, like that, kick up, like that. Everyone, excellent, 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 Jean, excellent. For two, for one, pull the navel to the spine. Okay, about two more, so watch here. Clasp your hands this way. Be careful, sit towards the front. Go here, clasp your hands, bring your shoulders back, and hold it for five. Bring the shoulders back. Bring your chest out. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Good, correct your posture for four, for three, for two. So this one, Carol, you wanna press your shoulder blades towards the front again, okay? And now uh, contract the abdomen, hands on your knees. Rotate the neck for three, you did. For two, for one, and gently reverse. Jim, for three, two. One, good. Okay, stop in the center, bring down. Inhale up, press out. In green, come up. Thank you guys. And like I said, you know, some of these exercises are not found in practice job boxes, okay? Thank you guys.